What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel first and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs. Catch through side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Virgo. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. Um, the subscriber count is going to remain private now from now on. Um, if you like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Thanks, everybody, for all the recent donations and all the donations in the past. I truly appreciate it. Um, and there was something else. Oh, I had a brain fart. Oh, yeah. Thanks for all the recent new uh, newbies, new subscribers. Thanks so much. Yeah. That was it. The same thing. Okay, so this is for the sign of Virgo. This is a bonus for July of 2022. Um, this could resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. Um, I encourage everybody to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs for additional message or messages if they do apply for you. Um, just saying, just saying. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Okay, so I did receive some channel messages too, and that's another reason why I decided to do Virgos next. So um, I'm going to deliver them. Um, the first one I heard, a Virgo feminine, um, 35 and below, is about to get a promotion at work soon. That was the first one, so congratulations to whoever that's for. Uh, your Virgo Femme, you can, uh, you can have Virgo in any aspects of your charts, and you're 35 or below. Um, I heard 35 or below specifically. I heard you're about to get a promotion at work. So um, whatever work field, career field that is for you, if that applies for you, you're a younger Virgo Femme, I'd pull up as the older woman, but you are younger, 35 or below, and I heard you're about to get a promotion at work. So kudos to you, ma'am, if that resonates for you. The second one I heard, um, a Virgo Femme Reader is secretly competing with a Leo Feminine Reader, um, both online social media platforms, but that's about to backfire in her face in a huge way. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm a Leo son. I don't have Virgo in any aspects of my chart. So whoever that's for, um, your Virgo Femme Reader, if that resonates for you, for, um, Situation two, message two. Um, you I heard you're secretly competing with a Leo feminine reader. So whatever Leo fem reader, if that message applies for you, you are competing with. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Younger Virgo fem tarot reader. Um, I feel you use cards like tarot cards or oracle cards or what have you, what have you, whatever you use, but um. I heard you're secretly competing with a Leo Femme online public platform reader too. I heard that's about to seriously backfire on you. So you've got situation one, a younger 35 and below uh, Virgo Femme in the workforce, in the 3D workforce that's about to get a promotion. And a younger Virgo Femme, 35 or below reader um, on an online public platform. And she's secretly competing with a Leo Femme reader. And I heard that's about to backfire on her. So you have to plug the message or messages in your own life, how they resonate, heavy, younger, Virgo, feminine energy. You plug it in, how it resonates, you guys. I hope everybody's doing well. You should never secretly compete with anybody if you might need to hear that. Spirit messages you have reflected. Not good. That's that's bad karma. Just saying, just saying. If you're going to compete, you might as well do it, to, uh, you know, be honest about it. Just saying, just saying. Healthy competition. Spirit messages you have reflected. A Virgo's relationship with the Scorpio is about to tank into the ground through many series of chain events. For some, it's a Virgo feminine. For some, it's a Virgo masculine. Okay, so um, Virgo and Scorpionic energy. Um, scorpionic, scorpionic energy, Scorpio masculine. Okay, so Scorpio masculine. So heavy Scorpio energy, if that resonates for you, Virgo. 
For some, you're a Virgo fem. For some, you're a Virgo masculine. You have to plug yourself in where you resonate. But it's a Scorpio masculine you're dealing with here. Um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But however that resonates, you, I heard you're, um, you have some kind of relationship with the Scorpio masculine. Whether you're a Virgo fem or you're a Virgo masculine. But I heard the relationship with the Scorpio masculine is about to tank you to the ground. Now, whoever this Vir um, Scorpio masculine is to you, it could be a family member, a friend, a neighbor, a friend of me, a co-worker, a manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, how that resonates. But whoever this person is to you, I heard the relationship with this person is about to basically just tank you to the ground. You could be a Virgo fem or a Virgo masculine if that resonates for you, Virgs, okay? Um, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages, so one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply, only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, you have to plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. We have dragon and horse. For some of you guys, you'd be dealing with another fire sign or earth sign. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Manhattan, or Jupiter charts. If you are, Virgo. And for one, you're dealing with um, a Leo fan. So there's your uh, Leo Fem energy with the dragon. Yeah, secret competition is never good. It's never good, man. And that's just the truth. If you're gonna compete with somebody, do it one, do it healthily, healthily, and one, be honest about it. And that's just the truth. Experiments to just share our perspective. Experiments to just share our perspective for Virgo. A younger Virgo feminine is about to start realizing that people in her community know way more than she has told them. Things she's only been doing in private. It's about to freak this Virgo feminine out. Younger Virgo fem. Through many series of tame events, she's going to search for a hidden camera. For one, they will find it. For one, they will not. Oh, my God. Hidden camera energy. There you go. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Well, there's at least two of you guys, and you're both younger Virgo fems, if this resonates for you. Um, I feel you could have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. I feel you could be 36 or 35 or below. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. There's at least two of you um, in the universe. And um, it sounds like you have jobs out in the 3D or you do business out in the 3D, like everyday world uh, we live in. Um, you, either pro uh, you either do business out in the 3D or you work out in the workforce out in the 3D. How that resonates. But you go out in the 3D a lot if this resonates for you. But however that resonates, I heard you're about to realize people out in the 3D, so in the workforce and business world or People out in your, like maybe at Walmart or in a restaurant or what have you, what have you. They're going to, they know a lot more about you than what you tell them. Meaning, when you conversate with them, they're going to say things that's going to clue you in to maybe conversations you're having with somebody in your private home or on the phone privately or things you're doing privately in your home and you're not telling anybody, but yet they know. How else would they know if they would, they wouldn't know those things unless they were spying on you through some kind of hidden device, i.e. a voyeur camera. Um, I heard from one of you guys, through many series of chain events, it sounds like both of you guys are going to search for hidden cameras at this point. So when this point comes on, 
Both of you younger, younger Virgo Fems are going to search for hidden cameras in your home, it sounds like. I heard one you're going to find, find the hidden camera and one you're not. So you have to plug the situation into your own life, however it resonates, Virgo Fem. Um, that shit has happened to me in the 3D before. I just want to say this. It has happened to me in the world before. Um, in the workforce. Because I really don't go anywhere except for raising my kids and work. And work When I did work out in 3D. It happened heavy in my work workspace energy. Very heavy. People would try to. Would say things to me. And I never said anything to them. Um, to them or to anybody else. About something I was doing in private. And they would. They would come to me and talk about it. But yet I didn't tell them that. How else would they known that they weren't spying on me in my house? And that's just the truth. So that's happened to me. That's happened to me. But I heard through many series of chain events, both of you guys are going to go searching for hidden cameras. One of you guys, you're going to find the hidden camera. One, you're not. So you plug it in, how it resonates. There is hidden camera detector on iOS and Android. They are on the um, Play Store now. They wasn't. They didn't have them on the Play Store years ago, but they do now, and they're free. So hopefully you download one of those or you already have it and you start scanning. Good luck to whoever that's for if that if that message or messages apply for you. Spirit messages you have reflected. An older Virgo fan that has been performing dark arts. For a very, 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 very long time. She works in the healthcare profession. 40 and above. A very severe illness is about to take her out of the workforce very soon. Okay. An older Virgo femme, 40 and above, I heard. 40 or above. Um, I heard she... Uh, has been practicing dark, dark arts for a long time and she works in the 3D and the public as um, in the healthcare profession. So, you know, she could work. There's many aspects to healthcare profession. It could be assisted living. It could be skilled nursing. It could be dialysis. It could be um, community health. I mean, there's many aspects to healthcare. So whatever aspect she works in the healthcare community, um, she's 40 or above. She, uh, a Virgo femme. I heard she's uh, been practicing dark arts a long time, but it sounds like it's about to energetically boomerang back upon her into the universe in the form of um, a severe medical condition. Uh, it sounds like so bad she will not be able to work. It's about to completely take her out. It's about to completely take her out, is what I heard. Completely take her out. So, um, I mean, that's I don't know, I don't know if this is like, I don't know. I That's all I heard, completely take her out. So I don't, my God, I have no idea. It's going to be so bad she's not going to be able to perform her work duties or so bad she won't be on light duty or, I mean, I'm not sure. Um, you have to plug it in how it resonates, but how that resonates, um, it sounds like she's going out of the workforce, whether she wants to go out of the workforce or, um, or she's forced to go out of the workforce. However, that resonates. Number 27 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 27. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 27. And a Virgo feminine, older Virgo feminine that sold disability benefits and was in collaboration with the older Libra feminine to do it. Through many series of chain events, she's about to get sued. It's about to shock the hell out of her. Oh, my God. And an older Virgo femme that sold disability benefits from a feminine energy. From a femme energy. So, it's an older Virgo femme that sold disab stole disability benefits from a femme energy. So, whoever this person is, um, I heard she collaborated with the older Libra femme to do it. So, it's an older Virgo femme that collaborated with the older Libra femme to steal disability benefits from um, a femme energy, I heard, um, through many series of chain events, uh, they're about to get sued. Both of them in a huge way. Both of them in a huge way. So they're about to, they're asked about to get sued. 
in a huge way. Holy crap. You're stealing somebody's disability benefits? What the hell, man? I mean, disability is supposed to help somebody. Not, um, and yet, uh, what? That just, that, whoa, man. That's, that's some sick shit is what that is. That's some sick old shit is what that is. Wow. That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. I do not feel sorry for that older Virgo fam or the older Libra fam, and that's just the truth. Spirit messages you have for the collective. That's sick. Sick in the head is what that is. All right. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Spirit messages you have for the collective. A doctor is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life and a pregnancy and a pair of Nikes. A doctor, a pregnancy, and a pair of Nikes is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. Okay, so um, you have to plug this doctor, uh, pregnancy, and Nikes into your own life, how they resonate there, Virgs. For some... Um, for some, I feel maybe you work in the medical community and, you know, you work around doctors because, you know, y'all know I'm a nurse, been a nurse for a hot ass minute. Um, and I've worked in two hospital settings before and I dealt with doctors uh, quite a few, uh, quite a good bit. Um, working, um, you know, in the hospital setting, uh, you don't really deal with them as much in long term care unless you're certain positions, spare, spare messages you have reflected. Um, so for some of you, you can work in the healthcare profession is what I'm saying. Um, or you could be making an appointment to go to a doctor, or maybe a, there's a doctor in your family or friend group or something like that. Um, or any other significant way you deal with a doctor. Or for some, you may be a doctor. Um, you have to plug it in how it resonates. Um, and a pair of Nikes and a pair of Nikes. So, uh, maybe you are about to buy yourself a pair of Nikes, or are gonna buy somebody else a pair of Nikes, or you're gifted a pair of Nikes. How that resonates, Virgo? All right. Coins, money will be coming to you. December, chair empty, someone is leaving your life. Dragon and horse. The fire of an ex-wife is about to become very significant in a Virgo masculine's, masculine's life. She's not going to mess around. Has become very high vibrational now. Okay, that's all I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. The fire of an ex-wife is about to become very significant in a Virgo masculine's life. She's not going to mess around. She's high vibrational now. So she, so she treats people honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and, and values now, Virgo. Sounds like she might not have in the past, but she does now. And whoever you are, you're Virgo masculine, and it is your ex-wife. So legally, um, legally divorced ex-wife. She's high vibrational now. Something has happened, I think, to y'all's child or children, or a child or children, I'm presuming. Because uh, there's some reason why... The fire of her is about to become significant to you. So, I'm presuming it's about kids. Why else would she be communicating with you? And she's high vibrational, so she's not trying to get in your pants. She's not trying to drain you for money. I mean, so, I'm thinking it's about kid or kids. But you plug it in, how it resonates. But the fire of her is about to become very significant to you. The fire, like, her fire, her anger is what I'm saying. Her anger is about to become very, very, very significant to you. I think it's over kid or kids. Why? She's high vibrational. So she's not trying to drain you for money. She's not trying to get drugs from you. She's not trying to um, 
sleep with you. So it has to be over kid or kids if this resonates for you. And know that a very high vibrational judge is watching the Leo Fem's readings. Okay, okay. Well, I don't know why you would care about a Leo Fem's readings. Well, one of you guys do because you're a low vibrational Virgo karmic fem. Um, you're a Vir low vibrational karmic Virgo Fem reader comp secretly competing with the Leo Fem. So, I think that's who this is for, but you plug it in how it resonates. I heard no, a very high vibrational judge is watching a um, Leo Femmes readings. So, whoever that, that message is uh, applied for, message or message is applied for, I think that that message is for the low vibrational um, karmic Leo um, Virgo Fem reader, com secretly competing with the Leo Fem reader. But if you, you guys, you take the messages that apply. So, However that resonates, there's a high vibrational judge watching a Leo Finn's readings. So know that um, if that resonates for whoever that's for, um, whoever in the world that's for. So I think this is the judge keeping the eye on the readings, really, really um, focusing on these readings um, and about um, watching this Leo Finn readers readings. Um, now, whether this high vibrational judge likes the readings or not. I'm not sure. They they really, 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 really like them. It's going to go really well for one of you and really bad for one of you. Oh, okay. I heard they really, 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 really like them. And it's going to go really well for one of you guys and really bad for one of you guys. So you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. Um, there's a reason this high vibrational judge, um, so the judge that treats people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. There's a reason they're watching this Leo Feminine's reader. I mean, sorry, this Leo Fem's readings. There's a reason they're watching the Leo Fem's readings. Um, I think it's because somebody told this judge about um, her reader, her readings, but they told the judge about her readings for a reason. Um, now, for a lot of us readers, People try to make us out like we're crazy. So I think they probably told this judge about her readings to try to make her out to look like she's mentally incompetent. But I heard um, he or she, who I don't know if it's a masculine or femme judge, he or she really, 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 really likes the readings. A lot, a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot is what I heard. So he or she likes the readings a lot, a lot, a lot. So um, I heard it's going to go really well for one of you guys and really bad for one of you guys. So whatever side of karma you're on, or whatever side of karmic wheel you're on there, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Fourth. A horse race is about to become very significant in Virgo's, Virgo's life. And a group of horses running in an open pasture. Okay, a horse race and a group of horses running in an open pasture is about to become very significant in a, a Virgo's life. So I feel for some you like for, um you like horses. Um, so much so that one of you guys is about to go to um, a horse race. I feel like Kentucky Derby energy here. Um, if they are doing the Kentucky Derby right now, I don't know. I've never been to the Kentucky Derby, but I've always wanted to go and dress up and wear one of those crazy hats. Um, and I'm just being for real. That's always been one of my dreams. Um, I feel Kentucky, Kentucky Derby energy here. I didn't hear that, but I kind of feel it with the horse race energy. But it could be any kind of horse race. You, you plug it in how it resonates. And one of you guys, there's some kind of, it sounds like upcoming in the universe, there's going to be some kind of group of horses. Uh, I, and I think there's a specific name for a group of horses that um, run together, but I don't know it off the top of my head. But anyways, it sounds like upcoming, there's about to be a group of horses running in an open field um, freely, um, 
like you know in the in nature and wild in their wild and free self um and it's about to become significant to your life virgo so horse physical horse energy here And a Virgo feminine that has separated from a Sagittarius masculine is about to get their fire back. And a Virgo feminine, um, younger Virgo femme, younger Sag masculine. And a younger Virgo femme that has separated from a younger Sag, Sag, Sagittarius masculine is about to get her fire back. So you're about to get your beauty back, your zest back, your zoom back is what I'm feeling. Uh, your fire back, baby. Your fire. Virgo fans, um, it sounds like y'all have broke up or you just um, either broke up or ended the third party or the situationship or the sneaky link or whatever you call it. I don't know. Or the committed relationship or the marriage or what have you, what have you. There's so many names for things like that these days. I'm just saying. Praying Mantis. EEOC energy is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. EEOC energy is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. Okay, so EEOC energy. So um, I know what that is, but I'm going to look it up to give you the exact definition here. okay yeah he just kind of went off Okay, EEOC is basically for employment discrimination, basically. Um, I have been to the EEO EEOC before. I have personally. Um, I have. Now, did I file a complaint? No. Um, but I have been. I have visited there before, and that's just the truth. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission is the EEOC. It's for d employment discrimination is what the EEOC is for. Um, I heard the EEOC is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. So I don't know if um, you could be an investigator for the EEOC or you could um, be visiting the EEOC or you could know somebody that's about to visit the EEOC. You plug that in, how that resonates, Virgo. Um, but you have the praying madness with that message. So um, I think whoever this is is not going to play around because pray, praying madnesses don't play around. Um, they don't play around. Um, how that resonates and applies. Let's see if I hear anything else. I didn't. I feel either you're about to visit the EEOC or you're about to get a call from an EEOC investigator or you are an EEOC investigator or something of that nature. Like I said, EEOC is for employment discrimination. I have been actually to the EEOC building here in Birmingham. Uh, not here in Birmingham. Here in Alabama, which is located in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, after I quit Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital, Back when I started getting first gang stalked and bullied and harassed in my community, I told my family, they told me I was crazy, but it was the truth. Um, but I did go down there. I did go down there and visit. Walking away. 
Ours is located in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, the one in Alabama. Alberto is getting a huge wake up call. Huge. Alberto is getting a huge wake up call. Huge. So one of you guys is getting a huge wake up call over something. Hidden camera energy of the past is about to become very significant in an older Virgo, Virgo's life. And a class action lawsuit is about to become very significant in a younger Virgo's life. Hidden camera energy of the past is about to become very significant in an older Virgo's life. And a class action lawsuit is about to become very significant in a younger Virgo's life. So you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. How do you plug into that situation? For the older Virgos, it sounds like hidden camera energy of the past is about to become very significant in your life. For some younger Virgos, um, class action lawsuit energy. So I don't know if you're placing this class action lawsuit or you're participating in it or you're going to tell somebody about it or you're about to get a settlement from it. However that resonates, some kind of class action lawsuit energy for the younger Virgos. Walking away. A Virgo is about to quit their job. One's about to move states. One's about to move cities. A Virgo is about to quit their job. One of you guys is about to move states. One of you guys is about to move cities. So you're about to walk away from your current... Um, it doesn't sound like you're going to transfer in your company. It sounds like you're actually going to just quit, quit the company and you're about to just move. And uproot and go find new employment um in another city or state um whether it's the same company or a different company but uprooting energy walking away uprooting to a different um state or city how that resonates and applies for you virgo chair empty someone is leaving your life An older Sagittarius masculine is about to get arrested for drug smuggling and drug smuggling for one. And a Pisces femme is about to get arrested for drug diversion. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Oh my God. So arrest energy, if this resonates for you. One of you guys, an older Sagittarius masculine is about to get arrested for drug smuggling. And a Pisces femme, she could be older or younger. She could have Pisces in any aspects of her, of her charts. But I heard she's about to get arrested for um, drug diversion. So I feel for some of you guys. Hold on one second. I've got some water leaking in there. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. I apologize. It was my dishwasher. That's why I was like, what is going on? Very nice dishwasher. Just saying, just saying. Um, so I apologize. So, yeah. So you've got a older Sagittarius masculine. He could be 40 or above. He can have Sag in any aspects of his charts. I heard he's about to get arrested for drug smuggling. So I think him and the Pisces Femme and maybe you, Virgs, you work in a long-term care facility, a hospital or a warehouse or somewhere where um, drug smuggling and drug diversion could occur is what I'm saying. Maybe it's a behavioral health unit or behavioral health facility. It's, I think you know this Pisces feminine and this older Sagittarius masculine through workspace energy where uh, uh, there's an area to where they can drug smuggle and drug divert is what I'm trying to say. Someone is leaving your life. It's this Pisces feminine that's about to get arrested for drug diversion and the uh, older Sagittarius masculine that's about to get arrested for drug um, smuggling. But I think 
you know these people for some for some you can be their family member or their neighbor or their community member but for some i feel you work with them and i'm just being for real someone is leaving your life is the um um arresting energy the arresting energy is exactly what i feel coins money will be coming to you class action lawsuit energy for one settlement class action lawsuit for one um, settlement is what i heard and for one you withheld information from a leo feminine about about this it's about to backfire on your ass in a huge way okay i heard class action lawsuit settlement energy for one of you guys Virgos, and for one of you guys, you strategically withheld, it sounds like this information on this class action lawsuit from a Leo Fem, um, whoever this Leo Fem is to you, Virgo, but I heard it's about to backfire on you in a huge way. A huge ass way. A huge ass way. So it's going to backfire on you in a huge ass way. So you withheld the information on the class action lawsuit from, um, from a Leo Feminine, but I heard it's going to backfire on your ass in a huge way. So money will be coming to you is the class action lawsuit energy. But for one, you strategically withheld information from a Leo feminine, probably out of maliciousness and spite and um, jealousy. But um, I heard it's about to backfire on you. So you plug it in how it resonates. December. Christmas of 2021, the happenings that happen is about to come back in a huge way. Know this. Christmas of 2021, the happenings that happened in uh, Christmas time of 2021, whatever the happenings that happened for Christmas time of 2021 for you, Virgo, if that message applies for you, I heard it's about they're about to come back in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, to me, that could be positive or negative. Did you have a good Christmas or was it drama filled or did something significant happen either positively or negatively in Christmas of 2021? Only you know your story, not anybody else. But somehow for at least one of you guys, some kind of events that happened in Christmas of 2021, whether they were positive or negative for you, Virgo, they're about to come back to you in some shape, form or fashion, either in a positive or negative way. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, didn't. All right, well, I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day. Uh, a Virgo masculine reader. Is about to be shocked. They are about to get legal action filed against them. They are about to be shocked as hell. And a divorce between a Virgo masculine and a Pisces femme is about to become very significant. Okay, a Virgo masculine reader is about to get legal action filed against him soon, I heard. I heard he's about to be shocked as hell. So if this message applies for you, you're a Virgo masculine reader. So you're a Virgo tarot card reader, masculine tarot card reader. I heard you're about to get legal action filed against you. I heard you're about to be shocked as hell, if that resonates for you, sir. Um, some kind of negative legal action filed against you. Now, I don't know what happened. I don't know the details. Only you know what has happened in your past, not anybody else, Virgo masculine reader. But you are a tarot card reader, online, public, social media platform. You have an online public social media platform. You're a Virgo masculine tarot reader. I heard you're about to get a um, negative legal paperwork filed against you. Uh, I heard it's going to shock, shock the hell out of you. And for one of you guys, 
you're Virgo masculine and you're currently married in an energetic space to a Pisces femme. And I heard that divorce is about to become very significant. Um, so it sounds like you Virgo masculine that's married to a Pisces femme, y'all are about to get divorced. Um, I think you guys might be heavily in the public eye and that's why it's about to become significant is what I'm feeling. Um, either one of you in the public eye or both of you in the public eye. But there's a reason y'all's divorce is about to become significant. But I think it's because y'all are either both in the public eye or you or one of you are um that's that's my thoughts on this but you plug it in how it resonates only you know your story not anybody else you have to plug it in how it resonates okay um another virgo is getting a huge wake-up call another virgo is getting a huge wake-up call so another virgo is getting a huge wake-up call okay well i love you guys i hope it hope this helped and namaste